All right, Pisces, we're gonna get into a reading. So, I still got my PJs on. Like, I don't even have it together yet, and we're done jumping into a reading. I feel like we about to get some tea. I feel like Spirit's about to let us know some things, because it's rare that I do this, but when I do this, these readings are good. So, let's see what's about to come out. All right, thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed, and shared. I appreciate you if you are a returning subscriber and if you are new here. I'm so glad you found us. I never wanted to have to say this, but I am going to say it. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. What does that mean? That means that not all of this is going to resonate with you. None of this might resonate with you. You might be like, girl, you never even get a reading that resonates with me. That's fine. That's okay. This is not a personal reading. Let's also keep in mind that this can resonate to anyone or anything. Lovers, friends, family members, secret admirers, uh, acquaintances. It's not always about the person that you are thinking about. So if you feel the need to tell me that I'm wrong, maybe you should reevaluate who you are putting these readings towards, okay? Also got a second channel down below. Thank you to all the channel members. As a friendly reminder, channel members and Patreon members get first access. So they get to see these readings before anyone else. And if you're on Patreon, you also get bonus readings. You can get Patreon memberships right now, your first seven days free. And then as always, everything I have to offer <clears throat> is at my website. Okay, so there is someone attached to your energy, someone that we're picking up on today. This person's been losing a lot of sleep. This person, okay, this is about to get very specific. For some of you, the energy I'm bringing in could be for someone who's in their 40s or their 50s. It doesn't have to be though, okay? <clears throat> so, I went to go write down what this reading was really about. And I found it interesting that one of the words kept changing, okay? And I want you, I'm going to tell you the sentence that I was writing, and then I'm going to tell you the sentence that kept changing. So, what I was trying to write is that this person stabbed you in the back, and they're getting major karma. But instead of the word back, the word bank kept coming up. And I would erase and put back, and it would change itself to bank. And I found that very interesting. So this reading could be coming in where someone messed with your money, affected your money, played with you to get some sense of money. As I was doing your pre-shuffle energy, the nine of cups come up. So that's an indulgence energy. And the, oh, and we have the devil. And the seven of cups was there in the pre-shuffle energy. So what I was getting is that there could be confusion and even illusion around some sense of wish fulfillment where someone could have definitely taken advantage. This could be like you gave someone your debit card and you trusted them to go to the store. You trusted them to go to the bank and get a certain amount. They didn't. They got more. Or now they've wrote down that code and just kind of put it in their pocket for a rainy day. <clears throat> Let's get more for this energy. Yeah, two of wands coming out in the reverse. So it's like this person made a choice and now they have to stay on this path. But they might be regretting the choice that they made. Whatever the choice was, it, it lacked strength. It lacked courage. So... This person took the easy way out, which is why they're getting some sense of karma. Seven of Swords and Judgment. Yeah, okay. There's something taking place in their life right now that they could be hiding from people. There could be something that they was... It's like... Their biggest fear is taking place right now. If this person's biggest fear was, you know, losing their job and being broke again, guess what, baby? They going broke. This could be someone who has a tendency to feel like they are entitled or maybe they take from people or they constantly work things to their advantage because they have a very lack mindset. But it's an energy here of what they did how they acted 
was coming from a place of lack of strength. They didn't have the strength and the courage to do the right thing because that would have maybe meant them having to go without for a moment or be in a place where they didn't want to be or they didn't think that they should be. So they did what they needed to do. And when karma comes back, it doesn't always look the way that we want it to. You know, it could be something as simple as, oh, they stole from me. Huh, that's great. Karma, bon appetit, karma about to eat, okay? And maybe you've always thought, you know, I, I know the karma is going to get you. I don't know how. It's probably not going to be in a way that I expect. But what I'm getting is that things are going to be stripped from this person. And it's things that they were scared of losing. So this could be a marriage breaking up. This could be not only are they losing their job, they're now losing their boyfriend, their girlfriend. Their child has decided, I don't want nothing to do with you. There is going, I keep getting like a domino effect. And it could be something that they've been trying to sneak away from happening. Someone's walking away from this person and this person has been trying to keep something to their self. This person could be wanting to approach you, but they haven't approached you yet. Yeah, it's like this person could want to apologize for something, but they are also anxious, worried, and have an overthinking energy when it comes to having a conversation with you and approaching you. There's something here where you embody a lot of growth, and this person embodies control. I'm older than you. Well, I know better. Show your respect, period. I'm the adult. I know better. That's a very toxic, controlling mindset to have. But I do feel like that someone you're attached to could want to have a conversation with you because there's been a separation energy here, but they're really anxious about that conversation because it isn't gonna go the way that they want it to, and they know that. They don't have any control. If anything, they're out of control. The way that they think you're gonna react or the things that they think you're gonna say are the complete opposite of what you're gonna say. And you're in the empress energy, which means that you can give someone a backhanded compliment, but it ain't gonna seem so backhanded. It's gonna be something along the lines of, <clears throat> It's a shame that you felt you needed to act like that. That's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray for you. How triggering is that? Like, that's what I'm getting is that you're going to look at this person and be like, you know, I could say some of the meanest things, but I'm not going to because I'm focusing on growth. And I'm recognizing that maybe you're grasping for control because you're feeling out of control. I'm seeing that you're hiding something and you're taking that out on me. And it's affecting me and you stabbed me in the back in some sense, form, or fashion. And that's fine. Bon appetit, because karma about to eat. She hungry, okay? So this person's really anxious. And there's been a lesson here that this person needed to learn, and they learned it. There could be a lot of action being taken on your part. You're coming up as someone who's very independent, strong, worthy. So worthy that you know it. You could have a group of 100 people at your door being like, you ain't worthy, you should hurt yourself. Oh my God, you're a horrible person. You would be like, whatever. I don't care what y'all think. That's the queen of wands energy. And by the way, I don't know why I said show up at your door and say, you're unworthy, you should hurt yourself. If you ever have someone say that to you, or if you ever feel that, please reach out to me because I find it interesting that I said that. So be aware that someone could be trying to say really vicious things to you right now. And it could be because they're getting their karma. Your energy is very overwhelming for this person. There's something very strong about you. And her face, let's look at her face real quick. Can we see that? There's something in her eyes, just a little bit of like, yeah, keep, keep talking, keep talking. The wheel turning in your favor, balance being brought, but it could result in a new beginning. And that's what I'm feeling is that, you know, balance might not have been brought to you in that circumstance, whatever it was, Again, this could have been a friend. 
This could have been a family member. This could be a lover. But this person affected your bank account, whether they stole from you, they really took advantage of your good heart, and then you really kind of seen, oh my God, you were never a friend, and here I am spending all this money and treating you like you're a sister and a brother, and I shouldn't have done that. That was a waste. Well, balance is being brought, okay? Balance is being brought forth. But that balance is also being brought forth in their life. And it has to do with a new beginning. And I feel like the new beginning has everything to do with truth, clarity. So where things are hidden, they won't be. <clears throat> I feel like this person has the tendency to take a lot of things personal. But instead of recognizing, oh, maybe that's something I should change about me, they get in a mindset of, I'm fine the way I am. It doesn't matter. Like, it's a very cold, calculated, I would almost say manipulative energy. And I'm, it's like, you, you know you can't grow with this. I can't grow with this. So this is someone who's very toxic and controlling. This person could be drinking a lot here recently. This person could be crying a lot as well for some of you. <clears throat> this person's doing a lot of self-reflection on whatever took place. What they used to not be able to see. So if there was a different approach, a different avenue, a different way for this to have unfolded, in the past, they didn't see that. So, you know, it's kind of like in your mind, you didn't have to stab me in the back. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to write down my passcodes and act so manipulative. You didn't have to you know, take my money. You could have just asked me. Again, whatever it was that this person did, they stabbed you in the back and it affected your bank account. That's really what I'm getting. So this could mean anything. This person could have got something on your credit. This person could have wrecked a vehicle or hurt something in your name and they don't want to pay for it because they don't want to take responsibility. Whatever it was that this person did, they're now seeing that they could have had a different approach, but I think this person's also recognizing that they were so passionate about having it their way. I'm hearing that song, my way, my way or the highway. So again, that's that personality here with that emperor. That is a my way or the highway type of attitude. So this person again, <clears throat> and I feel like they were keeping things close to their chest not letting you know, not letting you see. Again, if this is someone who was scared of being broke or felt like things were not working in their advantage, they could have definitely harmed you in the process for things to go back in their advantage. So this could have been that acquaintance that got you fired from the job simply because they wanted your position. It was a 25 cent raise, all is fair in love and war. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. It's What do you mean? It ain't my fault you didn't read it. It ain't my fault you didn't pay attention. When in reality, they were doing it from a malicious place. And they knew that. They knew that. They, they wanted to look at you and be like, but it's your fault. That's valid. You learned something. You should have done better. You should have knew better. You shouldn't have trusted this person. You kind of got a red flag, but you might have ignored it. You might have painted it pink. It's fine. What happens, happens. But we have to acknowledge that there was a lack of strength on this person's part. And that's what this reading is about, is that because they didn't have the strength and the dignity to say, hey, listen, I need your job. Like, I, I ain't trying to get you fired, but just know I ain't playing with you. You mess around, I'm going to be like, hey, you should get rid of them. But that's not what happened here. And now someone again is getting karma. So much so that there could even be something taking place in their life that they don't want others to know about. And again, it's some sort of fear. It's something that they're keeping a secret, but it's something that's unfolding. Again, whatever this person did, it was a head over heart decision that didn't require strength. 
it was easy. It was easy to stab you in the back and say, yeah, 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 I'm going to pay for that cruise line. Yeah, I got you. I'll pay for my half. And then they go and they ghost and you never hear from them again. Again, they stabbed you in the back by promising you something or acting like they had your best interest at heart. But now they're getting karma. And there could be a lot of things closing the door on them. I'm seeing a lot of eights. So this could have happened around August or a lot of things could be falling apart right now. There could also be something taking place in eight weeks, eight months that is going to be brought to the surface and found out. This person could have also had, this person could be in a cycle right now where it's been eight years. So they could have been at the same job for eight years, lived at the same place for eight years, been in the same relationship for eight years. But something is ending. 11-11, as I said that. This person has a tendency to say that they're fine, but it's not true. This person doesn't want to keep secrets, but it's like they don't know how to be anyone but that person. Is this person starting to see the error of their ways? Yeah, they know that a new beginning needs to be brought forth. They know that there needs to be a line drawn in the sand. But you know, again, the Nine of Cups keeps coming up with the devil. I feel like this person has an entitled attitude. I feel like this is someone who really is like, I know I need to change. I know I need to, need to do better. I don't know how. I don't know how to be better. I don't know how to do better. This is who I am. This is who my parents were. It's it's someone who's very, very, very entitled. Very entitled. This person could, again, have a drinking problem, a spending problem. Just be aware that if this person approaches you, although they might want to have a conversation with you about what happened, I don't really think that this person is going to be as honest with you as you want them to. I think this is going to be someone who's going to be willing to say, yeah, I know I messed up. But if you want them to look at you and say, you know, I'm a crappy human. I should have done A, B, C, or D. I did lie. I did cheat. It's like this person is not going to take that much responsibility. So let's be aware of that. And that's where you two don't align. That's where you are willing to have growth and understanding. That's where that very mothering energy comes out of you. Even if you're a male, it does not matter. There is an energy about you where you are soothing. And if this person would take responsibility, I really do think that you would be open to saying, you know what? You're human. I can't trust you right now because of what you did, but I am willing to recognize that you're understanding your faults. You're understanding where you had an issue at and you're willing to change. But I don't think that this person is going to do that. I feel like this is someone who is an opportunist. I feel like this is someone where it's like, you know, what if they're going hungry? Bet you let them in your house, they're going to steal. They have an opportunity to get what they want and what they feel that they need. So just be aware that although this person might approach you here in the near future, They are getting karma, but there still might be something. There's still a part of them that I don't think you're going to agree with, that you don't appreciate. There is a way that they were raised. There is a belief that they have. In their mind, it's not wrong if they need it. It's not wrong if they deserve it. I'm sorry I took it from you. I'm sorry I hurt you. That wasn't my intention. This person, <clears throat> did we hear how my throat started going out? I was about to say this person doesn't act from a place of love ever. And that's when my throat went out. And I feel like that's where this person, it's like they might say that they come from a place of love. This person might have children. This person might have a spouse and animals, and it might seem that they're loving, but this is a very selfish individual. 
I'm going to even say it, and I try not to say this in my readings, but I would even go as far to say that this person has some sense of narcissistic tendency, entitled personality. It's like they like feeling bound to people because it gives them some sense of purpose, some sense of fuel. I'm needed, I'm wanted, I'm valuable. But I do think that unless there's a very codependent or trauma bonded attitude, other people see this person as toxic, as a as a an individual. Like it's a it, this is one of the readest, weirdest readings I've ever had. But this person hides that about their self or they try to. And I think it's something that you see straight through. So it's interesting. Someone stabbed you in the back and they're getting their karma, major karma. The things that they were scared of happening is happening because they lack the strength and the courage to choose right. I mean, that's, we all make choices and depending upon what you choose depends upon what comes back to you, what ends up happening. This person could have even tried to sneak away from the repercussions. It could be something where it's like, you can run, but you can't hide. You know, maybe you thought this was going to come and bite them back in the butt for months or years or decades, and it's felt like it hasn't happened. Again, they can run, but they can't hide. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And you're going to get some sense of truth and clarity they're showing me around January 11th. That could be for some of you. That could be someone's birthday. It doesn't have to be. But around, I keep seeing 111. You could be seeing that number, but I'm seeing it everywhere. And I'm taking it as January 11th. So you could be finding out about doors closing in this person's face. This is very interesting. Let's get one more and we're gonna wrap this up because I need to go get ready for the day. I'm barely even awake and we got drama. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have this in reverse. Don't let pride get in your way. So someone's been letting pride get in the way. Pride of taking responsibility, pride of saying sorry. What do you need to release again? This person needs to release that part of their self. It's not serving them, but they're not wanting to. So I do see that you will, you will or you have released them. Work through your fears and look at the bigger picture. It could be a Scorpio, a Leo, or a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be. This person has a lot of fears. This person has a lot of fears when it comes to releasing things and looking at the bigger picture. They have the tendency to let pride get in their way. They'd rather be right, period. That's what they want. You guys are going to be very lucky here coming up. I'm seeing a lot of confidence coming in for you. I'm seeing if you've been working really hard, if you've been putting your effort and your time into things, you know, whether it's a garden, a relationship, fitness, your food intake, uh, work, whatever it is, you are going to see that paying off for you. So good job. But yeah, there is a lot of um, energy gaining momentum around you. But this, this, is reaching some sense of a climax. So something's about to happen. Something's about to take place on this person's side. And it's sending them into a place of deep, deep reflection. And they, they think of you when they do it. You know, it's funny because what I heard, excuse me, what I heard before I picked up this card was they're doing deep self-reflection because you said, I hope when karma bites you, you think of me. So some of you could have told this person or you could have just had that energy of, okay, when karma gets you, I hope you think of me because it's going to be because of me. This person in this moment could be deep reflecting on you. 
on how loving and giving and compassionate and understanding and nurturing and, and just really open-hearted you were towards them and how they took advantage of it. I'm telling you, someone took advantage of you. This person took advantage of you. And they could want to apologize in the future. So it's interesting because I feel like what the problem has been here is the fact of whether or not they feel like they did something wrong. Listen to your intuition about a message of truth or a message of bad news. Start protecting yourself from this person. And them feeling defeated but needing to take the time to change the perspective on whether or not this was fair. I really do think that for a while this person was like, I don't see the problem. What? <laughs> like... But now they are. Okay, so we're gonna leave this here. Just know that someone who stabbed you in the back is definitely getting their karma and it's making them think of you. So, all right, here. <laughs> Have a blessed day, guys.